One of the best features about Linux is man pages. Man pages, they're short for manual pages. They're basically instruction manuals. So you open up a terminal and you type man space name of program or name of the command and you get an instruction manual for that program or that command. So man pages are very powerful, but many people find man pages a little bit cumbersome. Many programs have man pages that are just massively long. It's hard to find the, the correct information you need in those man pages. A lot of people want a man page that's more abbreviated and straight to the point. So today I'm going to discuss three man page alternatives, bro pages, cheat, and TLDR. Let's get started. So before we get started, the first thing we should discuss very briefly is man pages themselves because uh, many Linux users don't even know about man pages. Uh, and if you're a Linux user and you haven't been using man pages, you really should because they are just one of the fantastic features we have here in Linux. So I brought up a terminal here and I zoomed in so you can see exactly what I'm typing. So the typical way you use a man page in Linux is type the word man space name of program. So if I wanted to, for example, look up the man page for the ls command, which is the list command in the shell, I will get a man page here. If I just hit enter, you know, it'll scroll down and it will give me all the various flags that I can give ls. I can page down to speed this up a little quicker. You can get to the end of the page. It beeps to let you know. Cue to quit out of the man page. So that was the man page for ls. And ls, not a very powerful command, but you can, you can see even ls, you know, just the couple of dozen flags you can give it. You know, the man page is kind of long. It can be kind of hard to find the exact information you're looking for for more substantial programs. Uh, for example, find man space find this particular uh, shell program is a very powerful program and I'm just going to page down just to show you the man page for find this is everything you can do with find and I am still not at the end paging down a massive massive man page right so what are the alternatives well the first alternative I'm going to talk about is bro pages bro pages that is spelled b-r-o pages so instead of man pages bro pages and just like man pages the command for bro pages is bro space name of program assuming you have bro pages installed on your system now to install bro pages on your system uh, bro pages may or may not be in your repos it's probably not uh, it is a ruby program so to install it gem space install space bro pages now I did this here on my, my Manjaro machine here and Bro Pages was buggy installing it through Jim but being on an Arch based distro Bro Pages did have a package in the AUR the Arch user repository so that's the way I installed it on your distro uh, installing it with Jim probably will work anyway so to use it Bro space name a program let's Bro LS kind of like we did the man LS earlier and you can see this is a little bit cleaner in format. It's more straight to the point. We have basically uh, examples of the ls command. Uh, for example, ls space and then dash ltr. So it gave it three flags here. The l flag, which displays info like mode. Uh, the t flag, which sorts by time of last modification. And the r flag, which reverses the order of the sort. Um, and you see that in this first bro page entry we have the options bro thanks bro dot 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 no so we can upvote or downvote this example and then you go on to the next example and we have this example ls and then about six flags given and they tell us exactly what each flag does and then we can upvote that one with bro thanks to since it's the second entry or bro no to so if i wanted to uh upvote this particular I, I really like the second ent entry actually so I'm going to upvote it so Q to quit out of bro page just like the man page so Q to quit and I'm going to type bro space thanks space two and I just gave a thanks to that entry for ls so I just upvoted it now the very first time you try to do a bro 
thanks, you know, in whatever number, uh, you're going to get a message saying, uh, we don't know who you are. Give us an email address. And it's going to say this in the terminal. You type your email address and you immediately get a verification code that you also need to type in the terminal. And from then on, you're registered with bro pages. You can upvote and downvote. Um, all of this is stored locally in a config file on your system, by the way, your uh, email address and your verification code. There's some kind of config file for bro pages on your system that you can go back and find that information later if you need it. So I'm going to clear the screen here. And uh, you remember that gi gigantic man page for find, man, find. No, this was just a, a huge page. Let me cue to quit. Let's try bro find and see how much uh, more abbreviated and cleaner the bro page is. So there's 22 entries for find in bro pages. So we have 22 examples. If I page down eight times or so, I'm at the end of the page. It took me, I don't know, paging down 30, 40, 50 times to get to the end of the man page. You know, it's a lot of information. This is just 22 examples of how people type find with various flags and options. Uh, it tells you exactly what those options do. So very simple, straight to the point. Again, we could upvote certain examples, downvote certain examples. Uh, cue to quit. Clear the screen again. So that was Bro Pages. Bro Pages is really nice. Uh, I like Bro Pages a lot, actually. Let's go on to another example. So the next example I want to discuss is cheat so cheat very much like bro pages and man pages uh, you type cheat space name of program very simple now cheat is not going to be installed by default on your system you have to install it cheat is a python program so you're going to have to install it with pip and i believe you do need super user privileges to install cheat so you do have actually have to do sudo pip install cheat I can't remember if I installed Cheat using pip or if Cheat had a uh, package in the AUR or not. Either way, uh, install Cheat and then you're ready to go. So Cheat space ls, again, we'll do the ls command. And this is very abbreviated, right? We just have uh, half a dozen examples. Uh, there's no upvote or downvote functionality. It's just straight to the point. So if you really are not interested in upvoting and downvoting stuff, Cheat may be a better option for you because, again, you get less information on the screen. It's just, again, straight to the point. Uh, we have various examples. For example, list and then name of the directory or path to the directory. Uh, ls with the A flag, the LH flag, the capital S flag, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Again, let's check out that massive man page for find. Let's do that in cheat. Cheat space find. And I go back up you know it's I don't know even zoomed in it's basically just one page here if I had a more normal sized font so if I go back to my normal size terminal font you can see all this actually fits on one page for cheat find so I'm gonna zoom back in here so cheat pretty uh, pretty neat little program uh, again you if you're not interested in upvoting and downvoting cheat cheat may be, be a better alternative than bro pages uh, one thing I could do is I could cheat, space, cheat, so I could get the cheat sheet for cheat. And one of the options it tells you is cheat, space, dash, L. So give it this L flag. So cheat, space, dash, L. And that will list all the cheat pages that are available to you. So uh, it's not a massively long list, but for most things that you would probably uh, do a quick uh, cheat page for, they have everything. For example, some of the stuff I've already tried to look for, cheat ls, cheat find was there, so I could, I don't know, cheat bash for the bash shell, uh, cheat ursi for my IRC chat client. There's a cheat page for it. Uh, probably everything won't be here. Uh, how about my music player, CMUS? No cheat sheet found for CMUS. Uh, I wonder if I could add one myself. Let me go back to cheat cheat. And is there a, an option available for me to add a cheat sheet myself? Uh, I don't see it. We have the option of editing a cheat sheet, though. Now, that's one option that Bro Pages did have. You could actually add 
row pages that were missing. Uh, I guess you could submit them to some database. Again, if you have your email uh, verified with the bro pages people. So if I did bro and Ursi, was there a bro page for Ursi? The Ursi command isn't in our database. Well, I could add one. I think I could do uh, bro add Ursi. And now it pulls up uh, a text editor, Vim in this case. And then I could start creating a bro page here for Ursi. I'm going to quit out of this. So we've discussed bro pages. Well, we have discussed cheat pages. The last thing I want to discuss is TLDR. You know, too long didn't read. You see people type this all the time uh, on the internet. TLDR. And basically, this is a joke. Basically, too long didn't read. It's because so many man pages are too long didn't read, right? If I do that man page for find again, that's just too much information. I don't want all that. But too long didn't read. Let's do the ls command again. Straight to the point. Just a few examples. Very similar to cheat. I did uh, too long didn't read. Find. Again, the find man page was massive, but tldr find is, you know, one page even zoomed in this big. So it just gives you a few examples of how to use find. Uh, now, the find command is extremely powerful. There's a lot of stuff that is not in the bro page, the cheat page, or the tldr for find. So if you wanted to really dive into, you know, the finer details of the find command, you would actually have to read the man page. But this is Again, for more abbreviated info, you're just not exactly sure, you know, some of the flags or the format to type something, you know, uh, bro pages, cheat pages, and TLDR make a lot of sense. Now, I did a cheat on the cheat. Can I TLDR, TLDR? Uh, yes, it's simplified man pages. Get typical uses of a command. Hint, this is how you got here. So I had to use TLDR to get here. So I, I must know how to use the command. And it gives me the proper way to do the command. TLDR space command. Uh, one other thing you need to know about TLDR, if you want to update the, uh, the database, the cache, TLDR space, and then give it the U flag. So dash U. And it's updating the cache or TLDR. So it's, you know, getting all the pages it has for, you know, any commands. So it just uh, updated commands for Ursi, man, locate, rofi, TLDR itself, cmus, vim, find, ls, cd, lol, cat. So it updated all of that. I guess they've changed since the last time I updated the cache. So there you have it. Three man page alternatives. Bro pages, cheat, TLDR, they're man page alternatives, but they're not replacements for man pages. Again, the man page is actually the real instruction manual for the command. It's the one that's going to, or at least it should, have every bit of information you need about a program. It is the instruction manual where bro pages cheat, TLDR, they're really kind of the Cliff Notes version of how to use that program. They're abbreviated. They just give a few examples of some basic usage for the command. 90% uh, of the time, bro pages, cheat, or TD, TLDR are probably going to be just fine for you, but occasionally you will ha actually have to bring up the man page. So they're not a man page replacement. I wouldn't, some people do this, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, like in my bash aliases, uh, alias man to automatically just give me TLDR because there will be times when you actually need a man page. But again, 90%, 95% of the time, bro pages, cheat, or TLDR will work just fine for you. Before I go, this show was made possible by Ansem, Carlos, Chris, Dylan, Leor, Rob, and Tony. They are the producers of the show. Without them, this show wouldn't be possible. The show was also brought to you by all those ladies and gentlemen. You see all those names on the screen. Those are the supporters of this channel. If you would like to support the channel, please consider supporting me. You will find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.